Abdullah, um, I'm just on this experience over the past 12 months. I mean, DP World must have been, and JASA, right at the heart of the storm in terms of keeping the supply lines going, the logistics routes open, and you know, helping to maintain confidence. What have been the sort of, I guess, the, the key learnings from the past 12 months for DP World and for JASA? Well, uh, the key learning for us, uh, uh, definitely, uh, we, uh, not only for jobs and, and DP World, but for all of us uh, to understand and appreciate uh, 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 how fragile our uh, supply chain is, um, what uh, uh, needs to be uh, done in order uh, to uh, ensure uh, more uh, transparency, uh, predictability, uh, uh, and being prepared uh, uh, for uh, for the worst. Uh, the good thing about DP World and, and, and uh, Javs and Dubai in general, uh, we have been investing uh, a lot uh, in the past. Um, and I remember Richard, a lot of people were saying, do we really need to invest in all of these technologies, whether automating our cranes, whether uh, uh, investing our, in our platform, which is uh, uh, bringing all the relevant stakeholders in one uh, in one uh, platform uh, for customers to do all their uh, transaction, uh, saving them time and cost. Uh, but a lot of people said, is this really uh, needed at, at, uh, when we started this journey uh, decades uh, in the past, uh, from the 80s? When the pandemic hit, it only assured us that we were doing the right thing, we were on the right track. We were the only port operating. Dubai was only one of the few cities still operating. Business was still uh, continuing. We had uh, no one of our customers in the free zone stopped operation. Uh, we took safety measures that we required. Um, customers were able to do all their transaction from their house with a click of a button, do their customer. Uh, uh, Abdullah, on this point about DP World's experience during the pandemic, so there is a question that has come in for you. Um, so it's similar to what you just said. Did DP World face any issues during the pandemic? And particularly, uh, how did you connect with other ports when they were locked down? So you just talked about Dubai being open and functioning, but not everybody was that lucky. So how did that work with your other ports and other countries? Definitely, we, we were working closely with the, with the, the Dubai government, uh, with the authorities. We had meetings with, with all of our uh, partners. Uh, uh, from the food and beverage industry. We all supported each other. With our presence globally uh, in DP World, for example, uh, in India, we managed to basically uh, move few essential items uh, with, uh, required for Dubai from India uh, to cover all the shortages that, that required in the UAE. Uh, because our presence in India and our capabilities, not only in the port side, but we also run our own locomotive our uh, own warehouses, our own logistics and transportation uh, facilities, we were able to move certain essential products like the rice and the, uh, the onions uh, that went, went to their, uh, their were shortage or uh, requirement for it. Uh, not only in India, but in other parts of the world. So uh, uh, DP World with this technology, even in other parts of the world, we're able to continue because we did not invest only in Jabal Ali and Dubai, but the same learning that we have here, we exported this to other uh, countries. So we are supported those countries and as well as we supported Dubai, and our role is not only a local. We are a local operator, but we think it's a local.